Last time we saw how we can render templates and also static files of an app. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you a better way of doing it. So currently, if you see what we are doing here is for every app, we basically are creating a static folder for the things for that app. So similarly, we are creating a template folder for all the templates for that app. So this is well and good, but we can as well do it in a different way. So one of the common patterns you will also see is people will be having a template folder in the root and then they will be putting there all the files, basically all the files basically for every other app. So here we're going to create a templates folder. Okay, so now in here, since we already have two apps, now we can still have our own arrangement and have to do's there. Actually, it should be to do. And also, let's also have other templates for authentication. So I'm also going to have a, a folder called authentication like this. And then, so in here, since we already have the other index, I'm going to move this index away. So I'm going to go to to do templates and move away this index into to do here. Okay, then I'm going to delete this folder here because we are going to be putting everything up there. So I'll just delete it. Okay, so in here, of course, in registration, we will have things like register, HTML, things like login, HTML, Okay, when it comes to the static files, so we could come here in the root and create like a static folder that will be hosting those. But if you go to our settings.py, so that is here, you see that Django sets up the static URL. So this is where all our static assets would go. This setting here is used by Django every time it is optimizing those assets. So whenever we are like deploying, it's going to go ahead and pick all the static files we have in all our project and compress them into this static folder. So you see this static folder is on the root. So we don't want to use the root like we did for the templates. So we're gonna go in the to-do site. So over here, and then we, so in the to-do site main application, and then we are going to be putting the static there. So if we come here, I'm gonna move this actually to to-do site. Okay, so now things are here. So now if we went back to our application, you see that things basically are broken. So we have this template does not exist at to-do at to do index html that's because when we come in our view so in views.py to do's to do index.html is basically not able to be found so what we want is we want to point django to look at to also look at the things we put in our templates folder so if you go to our settings.py again on the templates section so that's gonna be templates here we need to tell django where to look for those templates so we can come here so on here you said we have this uh, empty list to the, where we can add different paths to where our templates are. So here we are going to be using the OS module to basically locate where this template is. So we're going to do os.path then we want to do join. So we'll be joining our base directory. So base directory is, is this. So you want to pass in base there and then you want to join it with the templates folder. So templates like this. So when you do this, this will evaluate to this path here where we have templates. And now if we come back to our app, so I'm going to go back there. You see that now our templates are being rendered, but our image is not being rendered. So we need a way to render it. So to be able to render that image, we also need to set up some other settings in our settings.py. Okay. So for us to be able to render the image, if you see where now our static assets are, they are in static slash to do. So down here where we have static URL, let's add some other configuration. So I'm going to add static files that like this. So it's going to be a list also. So for this list, we want to point here. So remember we can use OS module to construct a path. So we can do OS dot path dot join. So when we say join, we want to join Postbase based directory like we saw for the templates. And now we want to go into to do site, then into to do site then static so in here you see that things are still nested in to do but we want to be adding all the files for the website so i'm going to go move these away so i'm going to move them directly into static and then i'll delete the to do folder away so now if we save this and come back to the application so the server is going to restart if we go back so that it's still not showing and that's because we have a typo in static files so this should be one word so let's save it. So now of course that we have removed the to-do folder inside static, we want to go to our index. 
so index is going to be to do, to do to do index so I want to go here and remove to do from here and only access image slash so if we save let's go back you see that now we are able to access these files so I consider this a better way but that's just personal preference so you guys show how Django should do it in the last video so this is just an extension of how you can extend those uh, going forward so this is gonna do it for now if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe i'll talk to you later